What's going on YouTube? It's Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors bringing you guys another official video. Did you guys know that a dirty or a worn or an old throttle body can cause seven major issues to your vehicle that you probably didn't know about? And you may be having some of those symptoms right now and not realize it's simply because of your throttle body. If you want to find out more about this and see if you have one of these symptoms, watch this video from the beginning to the end. And you'll find out if you have one of these issues and if this is the reason why. All right, guys, first, I just want to kind of talk about the seven things that a dirty throttle body can cause to your vehicle. And you may not know this could be potentially the reason why your car is having an issue. So the first thing is you, you may have poor fuel economy. You may notice that you're filling up just a little bit sooner than you used to in the past or it's just getting worse by time. This can be just essentially just a dirty throttle body and that air flow into your vehicle is causing your car not to run at its best. That's going to be the first thing that's going to happen with a dirty throttle body. You're going to have poor fuel economy. So the second thing is going to be a poor idle or a high idle. So when I say a poor idle, that means that your car is idling way below one. It generally should be about a thousand RPMs or just a little bit before a thousand RPMs, you know, if I'm depending on if you're doing a cold start or not, or you may have a hot idle. And that's if you're over a thousand RPMs, if your car is just, you have some really rough cold starts or your, your car is kind of idling and just kind of bouncing up and down. This could be simply for a dirty throttle body. A lot of times people can confuse um fuel issues and tune-up issues when it can simply be your actual throttle body. The third thing is going to be an uneven or a slow acceleration. So when I say uneven or slow, when you're stepping on your gas, you could potentially think that you're having some turbo lag or if you do have an NA that you're having lag in general, it could, or uneven is when you're pressing your acceleration and you kind of get a couple of jolts or jerks in your acceleration. That could be because your throttle body is too grimy on the side and that actual throttle body plate is not opening up seamlessly. So that's going to cause you to get some sputters because that airflow is going to not be consistent going into your engine. Another thing is you can have some electrical problems. So what happens is if you have a lot of dirt and grime, some of that dirt and grime can actually go into your intake manifold. Um, it can just protrude outside of the throttle body and you can start having some wiring issues. And you can get some faulty and some wrong air fuel mixtures in your car, being that you have your intake um, manifold sensor. that can get misreadings due to that dirty throttle body. So you definitely um, can have some electrical problems just from simply having a dirty throttle body. Like I said before, guys, you're going to have some airflow disruptions in your car. It's going to build up the dirt and the grime and that airflow and that pressure will build up tremendously because ultimately your throttle body is the last part of your intake system and uneven airflow will cause pressure problems in your system which could lead to poor performance and acceleration so the airflow is important guys all right guys the last thing of course we all know it. you can get a check engine light from the electronic throttle control which will illuminate in your car and in your dashboard potentially you can even get some misfires a lot of times we look at our coil packs, our spark plugs, our intake manifold flaps. We look at all these things, but sometimes we don't look at the simple things as far as just maintenance in your vehicle and ensuring that your throttle body is clean. I did another video on the mass airflow sensor and a lot of people are getting great results from cleaning that. Remember guys, this is something that you definitely want to keep clean and just maintenance in your vehicle. So if you're having any of the problems that I mentioned, just take a quick look and just Take off your throttle body, guys. It's four bolts. I can assure you, putting the entertainment system together was harder than taking on my turbo. The only thing that makes a car challenging to work on is sometimes the thing can be in a difficult spot, but ultimately it's just some bolts. Now, of course, if you don't have the time or you don't feel like doing this, get someone to do it for you. It's really cheap. It's easy to get to. Just make sure and just check to see if your throttle body is dirty or if it's clean. I also wanted to mention, guys, the best way to clean your throttle body is to just ultimately buy some throttle body cleaner. 
Dry the body cleaner. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from your local parts store. Auto parts store need to be AutoZone or Riley's, depending on where, what city you're in, what country you're in. Just get some dry the body cleaner, or you can even simply just get a toothbrush and just kind of scrape it away. Especially if you have carbon buildup, uh, just from not cleaning your dry the body or your intake manifold, um, ultimately. And those are going to be pretty much the key things that you need to do to keep it clean. Like I said, it's four simple bolts that you can just take out and you'll be really good to go. I mean, then you'll get the results from having a uh, dry the body that looks like uh, what you see in the picture um, with grime. As you can see, it's getting sprayed down right here. And then ultimately, you can have a cleaner dry the body um, like this one where it's moving freely, as you can see. No grime, just spray it down a little bit. You're pretty much good to go. And as you can see, guys, I finished here, mine right here, A1. So yeah, guys, sensor. this is pretty much the key to having a successful running car. Keep that driver body clean and no sensors. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace them out.